to a mink back here and just like cut the legs. I just did a double <laughs> step. <laughs> Um, right now it's sounding good. Yeah, I'm hearing the button announcer too. But no, I think we're good. Oh, yeah. we're so you, you went to Genesis this weekend. Yes, I did. Oh my god, that was an amazing experience. A fantastic time. I heard stream-wise that it wasn't as good. Um, we didn't know. Yeah, um, watching from home, the, the, wasn't that a good connection? Uh, that's really too bad. Well, it looks like we're starting game one on starter build. Yeah, definitely classic, I would say, worldwide. But I feel like there's a region out there where they don't choose to start on Sm uh, Smashville. If there is, it, it probably doesn't exist. <laughs> I think this is a button check. Yeah, no, just kind of considering the fact that AI yeah, wasn't yeah. pressed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It did see Mink change his control, so probably just make sure everything's all good. Yeah. Um, I would have gotten a little Does it sound better now? <laughs> no, but you just stepped on something and that just messed up. Yeah. It was perfect. Yo, what's good? Funk shot to Admiral Funk coming from the Can we have a house for him? Yeah, so, you guys are looking for this now? It's a scratch on it. If you guys are looking to look forward to having Funk on the mic, he is here tonight, and he is ready to get some commentary on with GDX. So, definitely stick around for that. Still angry. Still goddamn angry. I gotta take that. I think, um. Actually, actually, um, it's, it's starting to have like a sound effect this flight again. But, yeah, Yo, shout out to the 15 viewers watching from home, man. Hey. This is the reason we play. You guys are the reason. We love y'all, man. Good looks. Wait, where is this? I am. Oh, right. Yes, Well, it looks like we're starting on Lilac. Something we don't usually see. Ever. Yeah, so uh, we did not get started, though. We were tricked. Oh. So. <laughs> well. Oh, wow. Is that a uh, falling upgrade to down smash? Alright, I think it is, but either way, I almost never see Mark just decide to land with that man. It's very, very risky. Mink forcing AI to stay on one side of the stage, trying to have the stage control the whole time. Really good on Mink's part. Yeah, right now, starting that edge guard with that flare breath valve, making it really, really hard for AI to land. Fortunately, he wasn't able to convert that into an edge guard, but still, bad percentage she put on to AI, nothing to see that. Nice. And now it looks like AI starting to take over the stage. Uh, he has Mink on the ledge. So one of the main things struggle with Charizard is going to struggle with people who always landing. Um, doesn't have the best landing options, and the one good mix-up he has is Rock Smash, so... But as long as you shield that and you know to, um, you can definitely get around it fairly easily. It's like, good option to have, but it's like, it is readable, and oh, unfortunately... Mink with the SD, unfortunate stuff. Yeah, I, I believe he didn't have any more jumps on him, so... So, Mink, um, trying to read, um, AI being a little bit more wild than the action for that Oh, good air dodge. Yeah, yeah. Yo, Gavin. Um, it will bring back extremely well, especially with that, um, proof yeah, grab hand. Do I care? Is it your fault? It might have been Ian's fault. He's a lot of things until, like, a certain percentage, and then once he gets, um, to death percent, up throw is going to be killing. Um, especially with Marth being so light, you kill him actually relatively early. Yeah, it looked like he's getting a bit of momentum starting off this corridor straight, but Ming's coming right back. Are you really? Just quiet. Um, alright, so right now, um, uh, Ming's been trapped on the platform, so it's making it really, really hard for him to just get down and uh, grab one. Yeah, he's doing a good job of tracking the planet. There too, his spacing is very on point, so he's always making sure to stay just outside Charger's range, but just uh, close enough that the uh, second he swings, he's able to punch the sword as well. Good stuff to AI, but ooh, getting a little bit risky there. If Mink was actually able to hit that back air, that could have spun the end of AI. Yeah. Didn't punish the dash attack. Okay, good use of uh, flare breath right there. Mink keeping the stage control against AI. Okay. What the fuck you say? Alright, so Mink right now controlling uh, center stage extremely well. Mink, um, quite a chore for AI to land. Could use the fly breath there to just catch every single ledge get off from from it. AI gonna able to swing back from the side beam. AI's been doing really good this first match on his punishes, punishing Mink for throwing out bad options. I think he's been doing really good at punishing those options. Yeah, definitely. It's just like, I feel like he's been just swinging a little bit too hard, and that's what's cost him uh, from stage, just like right there. Yeah. Mink a little bit too slow in that reaction. Oh, but yeah. that tipper S match! Yeah, that's basic. Just, you know, good 
there. But the other important thing is like, I believe the entire table of the cards are just as well. So, you know, if he does with that, he just like kind of smash anyway, it's still going to hit him. Well, I, I think I have a double oh, half a go, so I'm going to head off. I'm going to okay. keep the mic to Azzy over here. All right. So it was a pleasure commentating with you. Sam Bell. All right. Good luck. Thank you, bro. I'll All be right. on stream for you. So, now. getting right back into this, we are switching to Battlefield. Um, I'm guessing one of the main reasons why I make my uh, want to switch here is for the tri platform layout. Um, AI, um, probably banned Duck Hunt, so I'm actually a little bit surprised that uh, Mink decided not to go to Dreamland instead. But, um, Mink. Yeah, for the extra survivability. Yeah, I was thinking that. Um, the other thing, too, is I don't know if uh, Player Rift happens to work a little bit better here, but I could be wrong about that. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure how Flight Breath really interacts with the, the ledges. So it's like, you know, if AI pokes his head a little bit more on Battlefield or something like that, definitely stage like this would be helpful. Alright, so right now AI doing a good job controlling that center stage, of keeping Mink off and above him. Mink just getting, nearly getting around that F-Smash right now. Gotta be very careful how he's throwing out these aerials. Alright, so it looks like um, he's not really able to get the poke um, safely for with Flare Breath uh, that far away. Definitely he's closer up than he could, but I know the re main reason why he's staying back in that roll distance is so he doesn't get hit by the Dolphin Slash. Um, so it does come a little bit above the ledge. Okay, dancing blade right there to get Mink off. Not going to seal the deal just yet. Um, so is not to ch 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 chase uh, Charlie off stage? Um, I think the main thing he's looking out for is um, Flare Blitz. I mean, either way, if he countered that, he's dead. I mean, even then, if, if you let him Flare Blitz, just air dodge and then get back to the ledge. You can't punish him for it. Yeah, that's true. It's okay. really not all that scary. Yeah. And fair off stage is plenty scary. Yeah, <laughs> that's for sure. Get up and sing a multiple one of those. Alright, AI looking in a bad position. And, uh, Mink doing a great job with these air dodge reads. Just uh, catching AI every single time he's gone for them. Yeah, gotta be more aware of that. I gotta start swinging his zone there to try to come that Charizard. There we go. Ooh, that's a problem that actually didn't kill. Round two. Okay, Mink wisely um, just stop. Uh, Flare a little bit below to get around it. Alright, up throw? Uh, yeah, yeah. I feel so far I'm kill. It's like, I really don't think Marth can usually kill throw at like 150%, but I think it's fine. Uh, not. Yeah. I mean, he's always at it. Yeah. I mean, melee, that thing killed at like 200%. It's like, yeah, you had to I mean, work for it, but this one, it's just like, eh, not too bad. Alright, Mink right now. Ooh, good spot touch by AI yeah, just to get around the belt. Ooh, look for the air dodge read. Almost gave it to him, too. See, AI needs just hold center. Uh, Charizard can't really get through his sword very easily. No, yeah, AI's definitely been demonstrating that uh, really well. But it's like, I feel like he's been a little bit too risky with the swings. Like, not just like, kind of like fade back fairing. Kind of bait for the kid. I don't think fade back fair is, is the answer, is the go to. It's like, you're giving up stage control, and how much does that make in this match? Yeah, no, I mean, like, you know, you move in, um, you fade back. So you, like, keep Charizard kind of in that corner while you're, like, around the center stage area. It's like, if you keep out against it, you'll be able to catch him with, like, at least a jab. So, um, I don't want to be the worst in the world, but yeah, it's like, it, as long as your presence is just right there, um, I mean, Charizard has a jab that's pretty quick, but other than that, it's going to be kind of hard for him to really catch you. Ooh, RDI, and that almost kills him. Yeah. Yeah, Charizard are being very heavy. It's going to be a little bit more before anything is going to kill. Unless he gets hit by an F-Smash. Yeah, he's got a... Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, okay. AI's got to be very careful. He doesn't want to be under that center platform at all. I, doubt, I know Mink is just waiting for that. Yeah, I'm smashing up the... Uh, I think the yeah, main thing would be um, up throw at this percent. Up top oh, platform? And, yeah, top platform. Yeah. yeah. Oh, not smart. Oh, <laughs> not he smart. that badly. Yeah. Yeah, but the two might be a pretty lightweight as well. That's not really that good for this character. Alright, so good stuff to make for keeping himself in, in this set a little longer. So, we'll see what he can do in this next game. So, what stage do you think would be going next? Um, it is AI's counter pick. I could see Common City. I could see Smashville. Smashville. I was about to say, Town and City, maybe not the Charizard. Factor. Basically anything but Duck Hunt is fine. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm if you get the center platform on uh, I mean, City. that is assuming that Mink banned FD. That's true. Yeah. 
because uh, Charizard really needs a platform to be able to land in this matchup. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. That was platform. It's like, if you didn't land that, that's where I had to play. Right now, uh, Mink having a hard time landing, but a uh, good job of using that Rock Smash just to intercept whatever move they uh, threw out. Yeah. Okay, that works. Yeah, definitely since uh, Charger being such a big body, those jab cancels into um, just basically any move you want are going to be extremely bad. That's not something that's not that's not religion. Not jab, f tilt stand to jab, jab. Yeah. And jab, everything else is a mix Yeah. Because I know uh, uh, jab, uh, fair, that's if they jump. Or if they throw out attack, I believe. And I know F smash is true. Yeah, that's a mix up. Yeah. If they don't jump, it's. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, yeah, right now. Just try to shark uh, me, but if you get hit by the rock smash, just gonna reset. He honestly should just be watching these rock smash smash up. Either by grabbing them before they come out, or. Yeah. Smash. Yeah, you know, he's been swinging like a little bit before. Um, like a little bit after me, just throwing out the rock smash. Yeah. There we go. There. That's what we're looking for. Yeah, honestly, like, if you play just like, a little bit more shield, a little bit more patient, I think he'd be catching Mink a lot more. I mean, overall, AI is playing the matchup fairly well. I just yeah. wish he was a little, would be a little more brave off stage. Okay, yeah. No, that's my Marth Barrett would kill Charizard at like 80% off stage. Like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that, that's really late because it's Charizard, but like, uh, some characters, like Mario, it's like 60. Yeah. Like, it's, it's absurd. Oh, for sure. You don't remember what I remember? Uh, do you remember uh, custom uh, crescent slash? Oh uh, my god, Lard forward throw, throw up <laughs> slash, or down throw crescent slash? No, it was a it was a forward throw up B. Yeah. It's like that would kill like the heavies at like sixty percent. It was pretty it was great. It was really really good. Cool. It was working so well. But anyways, we're not on customs right now. Charizard at one hundred and fifty. That up throw is going to seal it. Um, I would have to have a little bit more percent. I guess that rage is going to come through clutch for him. For this oh, guess oh, the air dodge read again. AI has to catch on to that's all that makes looking for at this point. Because um, at that point, there's not much he can really do that's guaranteed. It's just gonna mix up. So AI just DI away and jump. What is he gonna do? Or if he just throws out a fair, because Mink's just been in range every single time. Um, that's all he would have to do. Because um, I believe the uh, I feel like uh, Charizard's fair range is very similar to Mars fair. Um, uh, Mars fair should not outrange. It, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, of course, yeah, not the best. Okay. Oh, oh! That was disgusting. That was disgusting. <laughs> Mink saw the future in that frame right there. <laughs>